Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1169. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, we got a cool question that came through YouTube from Oz. Now check this out. We want to ask the question, hey, are there any drinks down in this table that have both OJ and strawberries? So as we look through the first one, OJ strawberries, so I want a true here. There's not OJ and strawberry, so I want a false here. There's only OJ here, no strawberry, so I want a false here. Now, check this out. Here's a list. And we're going to compare this list each time in each one of these cells to the relative row. So when I get down to this cell right here, I'm comparing this list to this list right here. So let's use the match function. Now, what does match do? Match usually looks up. If I said, hey, match, go look up OJ over here, it would be polite and it would report 1 because the lookup value OJ is the first item in this list. Now, that's looking up a single item. What we want to do is instead, for the lookup value, we're just going to do a function argument array operation. Now, how many items are we looking up? One, two, three, four, five. So the match function, because this is a function argument array operation, will spit out five answers. Let's just go ahead and we need to lock this. I'm going to highlight the center and F4 to lock it. Let's just highlight this and hit the F9 key to evaluate. And sure enough, match is totally polite. It spits out one, two, three, four, five answers. Where did it find OJ? One. Where did it find strawberry? Two. The rest are NAs. Control Z. Now, this is a function argument array operation, so we're going to have to enter it with the special keystroke, Control Shift and Enter. That's how you enter array formulas. Immediately look up to the formula bar. You could see those curly brackets. That's Excel telling you it understood it's an array formula. I'm going to double click and send this down. Now, the cell can only report a single item. But if we were to come down here and hit F2, which is put it in edit mode, and highlight an F9, you could see, sure enough, it's reporting two positions from this list over here. The rest are NAs, Control-Z. And let's see, right here, there should be NA1, NA, NA, NA. And I think if we highlight this in F9, that's what we get. Now, what do we want to do? We're interested in the fact that we have two numbers. So I'm going to come up here and use the count function because I'm counting how many numbers there are. All right, Control Shift Enter, double click and send it down. Now, because we slap the match function, which is spitting out a bunch of answers, inside a count, we get a, a proper count for each one of the rows. Now we want to ask a question. Hey, are you equal to 2? And how do we know that it's 2 we want? Because there's two items in this list. So in the top cell, I'm going to hit F2. And now I'm going to do a logical formula. Equal sign, anytime you put an equal sign that's not the first character, you're going to get a true or false in your formula. I'm going to say, hey, are you equal to count of? Because I'm counting non-empty cells. F4 to lock it. Close parentheses. Control Shift Enter, because that's still an array formula. Oh, we get a true or a false. Now, let's see what happens if we highlight this and hit Delete. Uh-oh, true. That just means that count is getting 0 and count a is getting 0. Now, we could add a second condition, because that equal sign is spitting on a true or false. We could use something like the AND function and add a condition when this is greater than 0. But that means I'd have to run everything in the formula every time. So I'm going to use an IF here. And I'm simply going to use my count a of this range right here, F4, close parentheses. And I'm going to say, whenever you are greater than 0, then I want to run for the value of true that whole thing. Otherwise, now I put could put comma and false, but I don't really need to do that because if I leave that argument right there empty, it'll automatically put a false. So I simply close parentheses, leaving that last argument out. Now, the nice thing about this is when it counts 0 up here, it skips over running this entire part of the formula. Now, for a small data set, it doesn't matter at all. But for a larger data set, that would matter. You ready? Control-Shift-Enter. 
double click and send it down. And it's working perfect. Let's test it. I'm checking out to see if there's any banana drinks. Oh, there's a bunch of banana drinks. And I want banana and OJ. No, a banana and milk. So there's a true here, a banana and a milk. And down here, we have milk and banana. Now, there's a couple of ways we could then filter this list. If I use uh, click in a single cell, I got a proper data set field names at the top, empty cells all the way around. I could go up to data and filter, or I could use the keyboard, Control Shift L. And now I could filter on true, click OK. Hey, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to go Control Shift LL to turn the filter off and then back on, just get rid of that filter. Another way we could do this is I could highlight the entire data set. And I want to conditionally format the row when I get a true here. Now let's go up to Home, Conditional Formatting, New Rule. Or we can use Alt H L N. Arrow, 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 because I want to use a formula to determine which cell to format. Tab, because I want to use format values where this formula is true. And check this out. The entire row, each new row, needs to look at a true. That's the active cell. And there's a formula that's going to go into that cell. So I'm going to say, hey, is this G10? Now notice that's locked, and that's not really what I want. It would work for the whole row, but when I copy it down, I need it to move to the next G11. So I'm going to hit the F4 key one, two times to lock the column reference, but leave the 10 free to change to 11 and then 12 as we copy down. And I'm going to say, are you equal to true? That will work. Format, whatever you want. I'm going to click just some yellow, click OK, click OK, and boom, that'll work. If I change this from banana to OJ, now I get two different matches. If I want to check out if there's a milk milk, well, there's no milk milk. But I will get a, a milk and a vanilla. There's one drink. All right, we'll see you next trick.